Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, this is Making It Happen with Mary and I am Mary. Today's video, you guys, I was really excited to sit down and do a new review and comparison of the re-release of Bath & Body Works, You're the One. I absolutely adore this scent and I will say this year's packaging, y'all, she fire. Oh, she is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, I'm looking at the old, like here's the old bottle. And I have to say, I think I'm preferring the packaging of this new bottle, this new release of it. It's actually really freaking cute. But scent notes on You're the One is white birch, velvety rose, and a drop of strawberry nectar. I adore this scent. I will say when it very first came out some years ago, I um, didn't know quite what to think. I want to say my, my sniffer wasn't as hyped up about mature scents, if you, if you can, if that's like a word, mature, mature, more mature scents. Your girl's a little loopy today, y'all, more mature, more mature scents. But after a little while, as that winter progressed, I really became fixated on You're the One, like absolutely fell in love with it. In fact, to the point that I ended up getting the full-size perfume in it, I absolutely love this. It is a real thrower, a beast, super, super heavy, and I'm in love with it. I will say it definitely is a heavier, more mature scent. The primary note is that rose note. You do get a little bit of birch. You get a tiny bit of strawberry that's noticeable in there, but it's not a lot. It's just enough to kind of sweeten it up a little. But it definitely is a heavy scent, a heavy hitter. Before I get too much further, y'all, of course today's lip is by me. It is from the Falling For You collection. It is Forest Flame. Yep, definitely a deep, dark, Red and she smells and tastes like cran apple. I love this one. It's been a huge hit. Make sure you get over to Banger Beauty by Mary and get you some falling for you in the forest flame. I absolutely love that one. That whole collection is just outstanding. Especially in the month of November, those shades are just absolutely stunning. So definitely get over there and check it out if you have not already. And let's hop back into this video. Okay, in comparison... To this bottle, which I want to say this, yeah, this is from 2023, so this was last year. I looked and looked and looked, and I could not find my OG bottle because I used it up. <laughs> it dawned on me, I'm like, duh, that's why you had to get more, is because you used it up, girl, you used it up. Yeah, so I'm very glad I still have last year's bottle as well as the new one in comparison to last year's. They smell identical, and I'm actually happy to report this year's version actually smells a little stronger, like it's a little more of a powerhouse. I did wear this all day yesterday, and I will say it, the, it lasted on me a good five, six hours, so I was very happy about that part of it. I'm imagining if you layer it with the lotion, the body cream, I don't know if they have a body butter out for you're the one, but I imagine if you did... It would probably be even more of a beast on you. So I, I definitely am still a huge fan of You're the One. I'm glad and happy to report that they did not mess up the formulation in this new bottle. They didn't debacle it like they did Forever Red. That was a nightmare, y'all. That was a nightmare. I saw a lot of people in those comments on the video yesterday that were agreeing with me. So I was glad to see that my, my sniffer ain't busted because uh, that was a shit show. But this one... They did her right, and they did her exactly the way she should be, and I'm very happy to say that. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I adore these. I do have a couple of comparisons. Not a lot, because I feel like over the years, a lot of comparisons are kind of get redundant. 
However, I have seen two new ones that I definitely wanted to talk about. If you're interested in those older ones, just go back through my videos, look at the reviews I've done in the past on You're the One, and you can see some comparisons there. These are two newer ones that I've never done a video on in regards to the comparison. And one of them, believe it or not, was actually people comparing it to Luminous. From last winter, I love Luminous. She is a heavy hitter. They seem to put out these super heavy hitters in the winter. For whatever reason, winter, I think you can get away with it more because the heat factor. You, I, would, I personally would not wear something like Luminous or even You're the One in the dead of summer. Girl, everybody and the brother gonna smell you about a mile away. But Luminous has sent notes of Ruby Current, Gilded Iris, and Praline Amber. I adore this scent. You definitely get a lot of notes of praline in here. I definitely get that current note, some floral, some heavier florals in the background. It does have a powdery vibe to it, as does You're the One, but not super heavy, in my opinion, when it comes to the powder. But are these similar? Hell no! Absolutely not! They are not similar, not even in the slightest. I could not believe this when I saw this review comparing these two. I was just kind of like, have you lost your cotton picking mind? Honey, did you just have COVID? Like, I, I, I honestly could not understand it for the life of me. You're the one is definitely rose and a little bit of strawberry and birch, like those woody notes. Luminous in, in ways actually even comes across sweeter because of the praline notes that are in it. So I was just like, no, they are on completely ends of the, different ends of the spectrum. Nothing alike, in my opinion. Yeah, they're both beast mode. But other than that, honey, there is no comparison. No, no. Now, I did see one other comparison that did make me kind of go, hmm, hmm. And it does kind of make sense to a point. I have seen a lot of comparisons to Covered in Roses. Yep, Covered in Roses from the Everyday Luxuries collection. I adore that collection. I am still salty to this day about why we never saw body creams in this line. Because I probably would have gotten all of them. And it makes me sad because these were such good sprays. They were absolutely amazing. They were one of the stars of this year. I love it. Covered in Roses is, let's see, Ruby Berries, Sugared Rosebuds, and Blush Amber. It does smell very, 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 like it could be a dupe for Delina without a doubt. Parfum de Marley, oh my God, I love that line. They're super expensive, the Parfum de Marley fragrances. I would much rather have this versus paying three, four hundred dollars for a bottle of perfume. <laughs> no. Oh, but I love this scent. It's such a gorgeous, like rich, bold rose. You definitely get a little bit of berry, but it's in the background. You get some other like, ambery warmer notes that kind of warm it up and maybe even spice it up a little bit it is a beautiful scent i'm definitely going to be wearing this a lot this winter because it is such a bold type of a scent but in comparison to your the one no i i would say they could be first cousins possibly possibly um the thing is with you're the one you definitely get those woody notes from the birch and there's no woody notes in covered in roses it's like none and in ways covered in roses comes across a little bit more powdery i will say i do think covered in roses is a tad sweeter but I, I will go so far as to say they could be first cousins. Like, there's definitely some familial DNA in there, but they are different. You're the one definitely has those woody notes in there. It's got that touch of strawberry. And yes, they list berry in Covered in Roses. However, it's not super prevalent. Whereas it's sweeter. It's definitely sweeter 
in, to my sniffer, then you're the one. I do think like a you're the one lotion with covered in roses would be an amazing combo. I think this would be beast mode. I also think that like you're the one with the luminous body or the body lotion would probably be an amazing combo. Um, I'm all for switching it up and, and trying out scent combos that you don't normally think would go together, even ones that you think would, because you never know what you might find. I share a lot of my layering combo picks on TikTok, Instagram, my community page section of my YouTube. So definitely check those out if you haven't already. I know a lot of people were like, I didn't know you were on TikTok. I didn't know you were on Instagram. Yes, absolutely. Definitely get over there and check out Make It Happen With Mary on Insta and TikTok, honey, because you're missing some stuff, I think. I think you is. I think you is. But yeah, that is my final review and comparison and my thoughts on this year's version of You're The One. Did you pick her up? What do you think? Definitely want to hear your comments down below. Don't forget to get over to Banger Beauty by Mary. Get you some Forest Flame. Or check out the other ones from the Falling For You collection. The Festive Flirts collection that just dropped about a week ago. And be ready because this coming week we are dropping six new body care scents. Yes, I'm super excited about that. I can't wait for you guys to see them. And uh, we're at my favorite part, you guys. Ready? Like, comment, subscribe and ding the bell so you're alerted every single time your girl uploads and i will see you in the next one all right you guys bye bye